So a strong and toned upper back not only looks sexy, but your upper back is an important part of supporting healthy posture, stabilizing and supporting your spine. This little 15 minute yoga inspired workout will give you a functionally strong and sexy upper back. So for props today, I recommend a small folded blanket, a small cushion would work too. Go ahead and put that off to the side and let's begin in a comfy seat with a calming breath practice, four, four, six, breathing. We'll relax the body, we'll calm the mind and we'll give our immune system a little boost as well. All we do is inhale for a count of four through the nose, hold for four, and exhale for six through the nose, okay? So sit up nice and tall, open across the heart, let the shoulders relax from the ears and close your eyes. You can place the hands on the knees or anywhere they feel comfy. And let's take a great big breath in through the nose, fill your body with breath. Open mouth, exhale, relax and clear. And inhale through the nose for two, Three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose. Two, three, four and hold two three four exhale through the nose two three four five six and one more inhale through the nose two three four hold two three four and exhale through the nose two three four five six let's come back to a normal breath in and out through your nose and allow your whole body to relax into each breath. Relax across your brow and your eyes. Relax your cheeks and jaw. Relax your neck and shoulders. Place both hands over your heart and let's begin with some powerful words of affirmation to guide us on our journey today. I'll say these words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. Today I set myself on a path of love and compassion. Today, I will appreciate every opportunity to learn, to laugh, and to love. Today, I will feel more connected to the power and the truth of who I really am. And today I will find courage and strength to make this world a happier place. Just take another moment, eyes closed, and breathe these words into your bones. And slowly blink your eyes open. All right, let's start off with a little upper back strengthening and stretch. It's a combination of eagle arms, a little bit of a back bend, and a little bit of a cat cow motion all rolled into one. So let's take eagle arms, wrap the left arm under the right, fingers of the left hand to the right palm, or you can just go back to back hands like that. Lift the elbows in line with the shoulders and push your hands forward, bringing the forearms vertical. And then we're just going to do a little baby back bend. So lift the the elbows look up and back a little bit and as you exhale drop the elbows round through the upper back and draw your navel into the spine firming the belly and we'll just go back and forth like that with the breath inhale look up and back 
and exhale round through the upper back strong core so the mo movements are pretty small here up and back and exhale round and one more up and back and exhale round nice unwind the arms give it a little shimmy and shake a little roll of the head and shoulders here and we'll do the other side so this time right arm underneath the left fingers of the right hand to the left palm or back to back hands lift the elbows push the hands forward bringing the forearms vertical and inhale a little baby back bend arching through the upper back exhale round through the upper back navel into the spine to firm the core Inhale up and back. Exhale round and flex. Inhale up and back. Exhale. Take it down and one more. Inhale up and back. And exhale round and flex. Unwind. <laughs> Give your hands a little shake here. A little roll of the shoulders and neck. And now let's come to a tabletop and to downward dog. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Curl your toes, lift your hips, and push back downward dog. We'll just take a few breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite, heel down, breathe. And coming to stillness, let's shorten up the downward dog stance by walking your feet a couple inches forward toward the hands. So you got a nice little short, down dog stance here. We're going to work into something I call downward dog push-ups. So just watch me first, and then we'll do them together. Wrap the elbows in. Bring more weight to the index finger and thumb. And keeping the elbows in like that, come to your toes and bend the elbows. Let the upper body come forward just an inch or two. And then push into the mat, straighten the arms, let the heels drop back down. So we're just gonna do some little push-ups like that. The movement is very small. Don't come too far forward or you won't be able to get back up, okay? Little bitty movements. Here we go, wrap the elbows in, weight into the index fingers and thumbs, lift the heels, bend the elbows, letting the upper body fo come forward an inch or two, and then straighten the arms, push back. Again, exhale, bend the elbows just a little bit, inhale push and come back let's just do a few of these one more or a couple more bend the elbows you should feel this in the upper back the shoulders the triceps two more bend the elbows come forward just a wee little bit straighten the arms i know these are challenging right but just you control the range of motion one more bend and then push and come down to the knees. Excellent work. Let's take a modified child's pose. So knees close together here and sink your hips back toward the heels. Reach the hands forward. Exhale, let the belly come to rest on the thighs and just breathe here. Push into the mat. Feel a nice little stretch in the low back and hips. And come to your belly, and we're going to work into another upper back strengthening exercise. <laughs> you guessed it. Okay, you're going to want a little pillow here. So I think a folded blanket works good, or you can have a small pillow. Rest your, resting your forehead on the pillow, take your hands straight out to the sides. And then we're just going to pulse the hands up, lifting the hands, letting the upper back do the lifting, okay? 10 quick little pulses, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and then bend the elbows 90 degrees, and we're gonna do the same thing from here, letting the upper back do the work. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, yes, feeling a little warmth in the upper back there. Make a little pillow with your hands, bend the knees, wash the feet from side to side. A couple breaths here. Relax. And now let's do it once again, that same little sequence. Rest the forehead on your pillow, arms out to the sides, letting your upper back do the work, pulsing up for one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the elbows and pulse up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got this. And 10, woo, feeling some heat on those last couple, right? Make a little pillow with the hands, wash the feet back and forth. And extend the legs back behind you. Okay, one more set of movements for a strong and sexy upper back. And this is borrowed from Pilates. This is a little sequence borrowed from Pilates. It's really great. So just watch me for the first for the sequence and then we'll do it together. So bend the elbows 90 degrees, elbows in line with the shoulders, spread the fingers wide. As you inhale, lift the upper body and lift the hands. The elbows stay on the ground and what you don't wanna do is crane the neck here, right? The neck stays long and you're looking down and a little forward. As you exhale, reach the hands forward. Inhale, swim the hands back along your sides. Exhale, come back to the starting position with the elbows on the ground. Stay for an inhale and exhale, come down. We're gonna do four of those together, okay? So good, here we go. Inhale, lift the upper body and hands, elbows stay on the ground, don't crane the neck. Exhale, reach the hands forward. Inhale, swim the hands back along your sides. Exhale, come back to the starting position, elbows on the ground, stay for an inhale. Exhale, come down, three more. Inhale, upper body and hands lift. Exhale, reach the hands forward, stretch. Inhale, swim the hands back along your sides. Exhale, start, come back to the starting position, elbows on the ground, stay for an inhale. Exhale, come down, two more. Inhale, lift the upper body and hands. Exhale, reach the hands forward. Inhale, swim the hands back along your sides. Exhale, elbows come down to the starting position. Stay for an inhale and exhale, come down. Last one, let's do it together. Inhale, lift, exhale, reach. Inhale, swim the hands back. Exhale, elbows come back down. Stay for your inhale and exhale, come down. Beautiful work, my friends. Make a pillow with your hands. Once again, bend the knees and wash the feet from side to side. Let's find child's pose for just another moment here. Again, knees close together on this one. Sink the hips back to the heels, reach through the fingertips, and as you exhale, let the belly come to rest on the thighs. Push into the mat to get a little extra stretch through the hips and low back. And then sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front and come to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a sweet little hug. Take your feet up in the air for happy a baby. Let your feet open nice and wide here. Gently pull down on the feet and push the low back down into the mat or toward the mat if it doesn't reach. And imagine extending your tailbone forward toward the top of your mat, the front of your mat. Draw the shoulders down. Breathe into that beautiful stretch in the hips and low back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Release the feet and extend your legs long for a nice little shavasana.
Begin to bring some wiggles into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, reach your hands overhead. Great big stretch. Exhale, knees into chest. And roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. We raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. And if you didn't know, this class is part of a free 30-day morning yoga challenge. It's just 15 minutes a day, and it will make an incredible difference in your health and well-being. And if you're not already signed up for this challenge, I would love for you to join me. Just click the first link in the video description below and sign up. It's totally free. And if you are already enjoying this challenge with me and you're enjoying my classes, then I think you would really love the David O Yoga app. You'll get hundreds of classes and programs, including this 30-day challenge, ad-free, all designed to help you develop a safe, effective, and consistent yoga practice that you really enjoy and that you look forward to every day. Just click the second link in the video description below to download the David O Yoga app. It'll help you get so much more out of your yoga practice.